Hi everyone. I just have to put my turkeys away now. They don't seem to want to go to bed at night. Oh, that one just killed that grasshopper there. Good for him. <laughs> Alrighty, buds. Time to go to bed. I have to push them back to their tractor where they sleep. I actually gave them uh, two new roosts on it. So they should be happy. Now I'll have to walk back this way. Oh, I almost fell over the tree root. Big old Douglas fir. All right, turkeys, gotta go home. Okay. Oh, how are they gonna get too excited to run down the hill? Silly turkeys. I don't want you going down that hill. Also, it's probably not nice to ever take an electric fence to the face, too. I think they're smarter than that, though. There you guys go. Maybe a little gobble for us in this video. Maybe I'll go push these guys up. I don't want to do what my kids do when they're herding turkeys and just run past them. <laughs> oh, that one just stepped on that one's face. That's weird. And that was a hawthorn you probably drove into his face. That would have hurt. Come on. Come on, turkey. Goofy. Well, that one just got a hit by the electric fence. Alrighty. As you can see, it'll be a slow process, so maybe I'll cut out the video here. Maybe I won't. Ah, uh, I'll just keep going. Come on, turkey. No laying down on the job. Kids left some chalk there. Oh yes, pink on the road. What does that mean to you, turkeys? All right. Hopefully that one just follows the pack. The flock, I should say. There we go. See if I push these guys back into the group. There we go. Side profile of the turkey group. <laughs> back under the fence. The reason I put them home every night is so that they don't get eaten by predators that night. Alright, we almost got the turkeys to their tractor. This one's just lollygagging. Come on, turkeys. You know what to do. We do this every night. 
Here I'll grab a turkey treat. Oh, missed. You gotta come. It is a different house, yes. Start running to it. <laughs> well, that one kind of limp, I guess. I stub his toe. Everyone trying to force themselves through the door at once. Gave you guys some new roosts so you can fit more turkeys on a roost. All right. The problem is, everybody likes to stop in the door for some reason. Silly turkeys. Why are you coming back out? Yeah, your water's just down the hill where you just hang out all day. I always bring you guys water. Just don't trust you guys not to come back for water. <laughs> come on, turkeys. Get in. You know, hop on your roost and go to bed. Yeah, they're getting a little big for this chicken tractor. big roost in there. I think it doesn't help the feeders a little closer to the door than usual. Oh, I got legs out. And I'll end the turkey herding video with uh, an update on the broilers. The third batch of broilers I did this year. We've got most of them out on pasture now. We just have to free up a couple more chicken tractors after another day of processing and we'll get the rest of the third batch out and they'll all be happy out here in the grass. The tarp's a little pinched under there for some reason, so. That'll be rectified when we move the tractor tomorrow. But yeah, they look pretty happy. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next one.